So let's talk everything PlannerCon, a convention dedicated to planners. And when I told some people that I was going to PlannerCon, they just looked at me like a deer in headlights. It's like there's a convention for everything planner and I'm like yes because there people have no idea how large the planner community really is I mean at this one convention alone there were over a thousand attendees and we're not even talking about um, just the vendors there was vendor there were several vendors there as well but there were over a thousand people in attendance to this and it was amazing for this to only have been the second year, and I wish I could have went to the one last year, but this is um, this marks the second year of PlanetCon, and it was in San Francisco again at the Hyatt Regency um, Hotel. Um, everything was uh, close to the airport, so it was super close to the airport, and you could get a shuttle from the airport there for free. Now, if you couldn't stay at the Regency, there was still a bunch of other hotels that you can stay in that were also um, in proximity to the hotel, which you can get a shuttle to. So me and Hubby, we stayed at the Holiday Inn because we kind of booked um, our hotel like super late and missed the deadline for the, for the booking to um, book your room with PlannerCom, which was fine. We saved a couple dollars. Um, but I want to talk about, since this is my, my first convention, especially on this level, and being out of town, this is my, um, I just want to talk about some of the things that I wish I had done versus what I had done. So maybe some tips um, that I basically am giving myself, if not you guys, for w what to make this experience even better. First of all... Um, I didn't know the breakdown of the schedule, so I came with a downsized version of uh, my planner supplies, what I wanted to work with if, you know, I had to do something in a workshop or if they had a section during the day for planning. So I had, they're on my bag still beside me. I had this backpack, and it was heavy because it was full of stuff. Um, I had this backpack, and um, cause it was smart to bring like snacks and stuff. Um, that heavy backpack. Then I had. Bear with me. It's heavy. Ugh. I had this bag. This is um, really a DJ bag, but I have this and a rolling one that I had bought for my cameras and stuff um, from when I was taking photography classes. I bought this bag. This bag and the rolling bag, they're new my they're my new planner bags. Like when I want to go places, so and this one's just as heavy as the backpack. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready. So then you go in to PlannerCon, and what do you get? A swag bag. And so I had to carry around all three of these bags. This bag started off really light, because um, you got a few planner goodies in it from some of the sponsors and whatnot. And I'm gonna show a few, but um, there's like a photo of um, the spread. So like, it was, it was, it, was, it had some pretty good goodies in it, and um, and then I went shopping. So then I got tons more stuff, and some of it's in here. You know, like some of it's off to the side. I've been kind of separating things. Um, cause I flew in from North Carolina, and let's just say, always fly early. Yes. Um, Anyway, back to back to my first tip. So the first tip is don't bring your life with you. Don't. You don't have to. Okay? You don't have to bring everything. Even a downsized version of my planner supplies is way too much to be carrying around. So 
I wish I had registered um, and picked up my stuff Friday night because um, they had like early registration, but I was un I was unable to make it due to um, flights being canceled because of the weather. And I will recommend this if you can and you can afford it, fly out the day before, especially if they have early registration. Fly out the day before so you know your the schedule, so you're not taking everything with you. Um, and fly in early so you can have rest. Yes. Because you don't want to be too tired to go down there and check out what's going on. And you don't want to fly too late till you're too tired to get up in the morning for the actual convention. So, this was basically your Bible for the weekend. Telling you, like, the schedule, who were the vendors, who were the sponsors, and stuff like that. So, this was reason why I needed to go early. But due to the weather and what I had to go through to get there, it did not happen this way. Okay, I say this because I didn't need none of my planner stuff for like majority of the day. I will read the schedule off to you. So Friday, um, that was March 2nd, from 12 to noon, the vendors were gonna be setting up their displays. I had nothing to do with that. 4.30, Early registration. I was supposed to arrive at 4:35, and I could have been there for all this, but that's that's neither here nor there anymore. Then, um, and then you can buy your raffle ticket. So 4:30, early registration on Friday. Could have got this and would have known a whole lot. Um, 6 p.m. Shopping opens in the ballroom in the se sequatia room. Um, so they had two shopping areas. They had one in the main convention area where all the um, speakers spoke and everything like that, where you initially gather and where you gather in between your workshops and everything like that. So um, they had shopping there. And then they had, on the second level, another room for shopping because they couldn't fit all the vendors in that one room. So it was two rooms to shop in. Um, and then after you, let's see... There's shopping at 6 p.m. 6.30, night of the stars meet up in the ballroom. So, you know, I believe this was like more of a meet and greet thing where you can meet some of the people like Aaron Condoran and some of your other favorite vendors that were there. Um, and then 11 p.m. registration and um, night of the stars. Everything stopped at like 11 p.m. So 11 p.m. Friday, you couldn't shop, you couldn't night of the stars. Everything all that on Friday ended at 11 p.m. I got in pretty much at 11 p.m. So I had missed everything. And where this becomes even more important to get the day before the actual convention is because it tells you that if you didn't get like any ballroom, if you didn't get if you didn't get any of the raffle tickets on Friday, you can get them in the morning. So as soon as you go in, you get your bag, you get your name badge. So you gotta put your name on because they want you to jazz it up. Which is why I should have took that writing class, because everybody else that took the writing class had their name written on, uh, they, they things all pretty, and me and my horrible handwriting, yeah, so you could probably barely see it, yeah, this is me, this is, everybody else's that went to the, the workshop or, or had some skills made it look pretty, so, Let's just say next year I'm going to be prepared with a sticker to go on my name tag. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so, you went in. Um, so, it started at 9 with Louise. Awesome, beautiful person that helped, that puts this together. This is this is her baby. Um, and she speaks. And then, um, after she speaks, 9.30 to 10.30, um, we had Christy Dickerson. Uh, start planner speak and then Kevin Corral of Carpe Diem let's just say and he, and he, they were a diamond sponsor Carpe Diem was a diamond, diamond sponsor and another thing that makes these conventions so great is you get to learn the story behind the people that you love giving your money to trust me you love giving your people these money you might as well learn their story because they are awesome dedicated people um Learned his story, and he had us all in tears. Um, then started the workshops. So, 
you had a workshop from 11 to 12 and then there was like a plethora of workshops you could have choose from so I started my day um, in the Carpe Diem uh, memory memory um like basically how to keep a memory book as a planner or how to memory plan and all that stuff so I did that and I was the Carpe Diem dude who's awesome was like oh if you take you know the workshop you know we're giving you know what I think her name is Laylee Concar <laughs> you can get you, we, we're offering free planners and I'm like oh man I think I signed up for the other one Darn. so I go in and I sit down and a lady's like no hon um, you need to sit where there's stuff at the table and I'm like stuff at the table what do you mean stuff at the table And this was what she was talking about. So I was in the Carpe Diem memory keeping um, workshop. So I got this beautiful thing. Um, and it's a uh, 2017 to 20 December. It's September 2017 to December 2018 Carpe Diem planner. And I just thought that was so awesome. Um, so that was. That was some free swag, unexpected, that wasn't inside your goodie bag. So sometimes when you go to these workshops, um, whoever is doing the workshop tends to give out stuff, um, which I think is super cool. So um, I've never had a Carpe Diem planner, um, but I do buy their accessories, um, and they just announced that they will have an online store, but to just keep shopping like their local um, stores, you know, just to make sure they don't pull that stuff out. But they will be launching their um, online store. A lot of people was like putting out a whole bunch of information during planning con. All right, tip. Oh, you still haven't finished talking about why you don't need to carry all your stuff with you because they have a planathon after all the speakers and a raffle drawing and a panel of all these awesome vendors from Oh Hello Company and Pen Gems and Simply Guided and Posh Pieces. All these people were there to give to, for you to pick their brain and, and, all, and be just awesome. And um, so then you had another workshop and then um, you had a speaker well, we had a after the workshop and another raffle drawing. Then you had another speaker, which was Brian Taylor from Evolve Un University, like Evolve U University, but U and University connected, like Y O U. U yeah, cute idea. And he was a speaker, and he spoke on. Um, I made a Facebook Live video after because he spoke more than once about his what he does and. His nonprofit, which is basically helping emancipated foster youth find a way, you know, like giving them tools, like helping them be successful. So they're just not thrown out and forgotten on the streets. Um, and he was there because Luis kind of adopted this nonprofit um, for this planning con and a lot of they would donate and money to them and that's why they were there and we were also able to donate money and meet the kids or adults that he works with um, and learn more about his organization and he offered free um not free items, but he offered like little items to help during your day to plan and stuff like that and I thought it was really awesome I had, I had an opportunity to make a donation and then at one point they were um, he had spoke um, a lot of people had left, I guess, to do some shopping or whatever, but Luis had noticed that um, a lot of people had got up during such an important speaker's um, time, and she basically said, shut down the doors. No one go anywhere. And he was all like, oh, shit's about to hit the fan at the Regency. And it turns out, Luis, with her awesomeness, she gave everyone like a $10 uh planner book planner com dollars or whatever and another woman raised her hand and was like can we donate donated it to 
this guy is not a prophet and she was like yes you can walk it over there which was awesome because I was wondering if, if I could just give them the money it would have been better if they would have had the money um he had us in tears it was just the kids were telling their story it was beautiful and by the end of that let's just say that my goal is to become a foster parent one day so anyways and maybe i'll add the video where i'm talking but anyways um then after that they had the planner con 2019 and planner con parties for 2018 announcements where they put out all this awesome news about local smaller planner parties being in different areas because not everybody can make it to San Francisco which is awesome <laughs> For the other announcement though she announced how you could get this pen but I can't share the information or Luis will get me um and don't look for these online if you see anybody selling this pen they wrong because Luis said not to. then from 5 45 to 6 30 they closed everything down so people could go eat dinner because meals aren't provided during this so the vendors can eat, the volunteers can eat, the speakers, everyone working so hard can eat, and including the attendees, like, stop and eat. Because um, I bet we were all living off of junk food, candy, and cookies that we all brought, and people were leaving in the table to further tempt us. Um, and every once in a while, some fruit. And after that, after the dinner break, um, was Aaron Condoran's, um section to speak um which she is an awesome woman and she announced that she has a store opening or has opened in austin texas and let's just say since i frequent uh san marcos texas once a month i think i might try to stop by her store and just look around if I go this month, I definitely can't buy anything because I spent all my monies, all my allowance at PlannerCon. Um, and then after Aaron Condren's wonderful um, speech, talk, questions, Q&A, um, then that was the Planerthon. And that lasted, let's see, Aaron Condren talked from 7.30 to 8. So from 8 till midnight, you could shop. 
you could dance. They had a conga line. They had a Macarena line. Because Brian Taylor is also a DJ. So he DJed the whole event. Um, they gave us, when we came in, there was goodies. Like chocolate brownies and cookies. And basically, if you ate dinner, you, you came back to dessert. Fruit and other yummy things. And, um... You do you sat. That's when you were supposed to come with your stuff and do the planner thing. Let's just say by then, by the dinner break, I was I couldn't carry this stuff anymore. Like I was like, I don't. We don't need it. I'm gonna put it down. Did not fully pay attention to the program, so I took it all back. And it was also a time for you to swap your goodies that you had made and you wanted to share. And I had to. I had did some stickers or whatever so I was giving these out and I gave some of these out and I gave some of these out Planner people are such coffee people. I'm not a big coffee person. I mean, I like a frappe every now and then. So it's always good to have some Starbucks stickers because planner people love their coffee. Um, this is also when they gave us these cute little cookies. No, they gave us these cute little cookies at the end. I'm going to eat it. It's just... Planner time was yesterday. And I had felt like I had already had my fair share of uh, snacks so read your program people don't be like me i even at one point during a workshop i had you uh not a not so good picture of what i wasn't gonna do like it showed me i drew a little picture and it had the bag and the other bag and a backpack and it had me like sad face versus i'm just gonna come in with my big wheeling bag that way i'm good I mean, because my hotel was, like, not that far, and Hubby could have brought it to me, but I was like, no, I'm good. And it gave me an opportunity to get to do some more shopping because I had shopped the main area, and then I learned about the upstairs area, but I kept having to leave the upstairs area because whenever there was a speaker or something, they closed it so everybody can enjoy the speakers. So I finally got to go. I used that time to go upstairs, and I, mean, I danced and everything, and did the conga and the macarena and all that but I went upstairs to get my last bit of shopping in I wanted to do all my shopping on Saturday so Sunday I wasn't carrying a whole bunch of stuff I didn't need so Sunday I just had this bag um and my backpack because it had all my snacks in it and I'm all about my snacks so it was, so it was one less bag but like I said I would carry a rolling bag just so you don't have to ha carry so much. And because they're going to get, they gave out swag bags. So you, this is your shopping bag. Um, that's what I recommend. One bag. Put that mug on wheels. Oh, okay. Tip number two. <clears throat> Sit up front. That's how you get all the good pictures good video of the speakers I sat in the back because I was always creeping in you know sneaking in the back so I didn't I didn't get a lot of good pictures I was more interested in watching what the vendors were doing and stuff like that and shopping I didn't get a lot of good pictures so it behooves you to either get to have a camera with a zoom in lens so you can get the good stuff because I didn't get a lot of good pictures and I and I advise you to take a ton of pictures. Just take a ton of pictures in video because you just never know. Like, I knew I wanted to do like a video, but yeah. So sit up front, sit close. Tip number three: ask questions. Ask every speaker, like an uh, individual speaker, a question. I mean, also if they're on a panel, you can ask questions too, but. Um, cause, but they usually have like questions already for the panel and sometimes 
don't always have time. Like, there was always time for people to ask questions, but always ask the individual, individual speakers questions because I asked, um, I asked everyone a question just for my first time coming. Never met any of these amazing people and wanted to pick their brain because I too want to have a business where I'm selling planner supplies because I love planners. Um, so yeah, I definitely advise to ask, ask questions, pick their brains because, um, they, they have a lot of good information to give you. If not business related, inspirational, they're all awesome people. And I wanted to talk about, um, one particular speaker who I am going to reach out to because she had expressed how she wanted to be a mentor and, no one, nobody really reaches out to these guys. She was like, reach out to us. You know, some of us want a mentor. So, um, her name is Nicole Rickson of Sweet Stamp Shop. And, um, she's into the stamps. I wish I had took a workshop. I am new to the stamping thing and I haven't quite mastered it and it's really messy. But I think her, I think her workshop was really, like, booked up by the time because I signed up for my stuff that morning on Saturday, so I was limited. I'd miss the email. Always watch. You know what? I'm setting up a planner email because I missed out on some things that PlannerCon put out because my email has so much stuff coming to it. So have an email that doesn't get bogged down or you'll miss out on early registration for your workshops. Um, especially if you bought your ticket at PlannerCon and they weren't doing the workshop sign-up stuff. Um, because at, at the end of every planner con, they sell tickets for the next one, and also they sell tickets for the planner parties. Anyways, so Nicole Rayson from Sweet Stamp Shop, I asked her a question, and she was giving out goodies, and I got to get this shirt, and that's I'm wearing it for this video because let's just say this is a really nice shirt. It's really soft. Like a Bella Canvas um, brand shirt, so they are one of the better uh, shirts that people are using. So I thought that was awesome. She gave us her email and a phone number and all that stuff. And I will be picking her brain, um, seeing if she will mentor me. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, and there was another panel, and then it was raffle. Silhouette was there giving away silhouettes cameos, mint machines, so I didn't win any of the awesome raffles, but it's cool. I still got a lot of cool stuff and free stuff. I think they gave away like two silhouettes. Um, the raffles also included tickets to PlannerCon next year, tickets to planner parties. They had um, some of the vendors also had stuff to raffle. Okay, so I hope everybody has gotten a little bit of something um, from this video about PlanetCon. Maybe you got something that you could use if you attend a convention or PlanetCon out of this and got to see some of the sweet goodies that were, were provided for free or that I bought. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment um, your thoughts. What would you like to see in the next videos? Um, also... If you plan to go on to PlannerCon or any of the planner parties and you want um, to, to meet up with me and so you won't be YOLO solo like I was, um, let me know and we can plan to go. Um, I am planning to go to 2019's PlannerCon and I am planning to go to 2019's Go Wild and I am planning to go to the Charlotte Planner Party in September. So, if you would like to have a buddy there, let me know and I will look for you and every, hope everybody has a great day. Peace.